Austin and welcome to Insiders Health TV where we bring you the freshest happenings in the world of medicine without the quack propaganda. Today we'll be talking about your brain's power hours and how you can use it to your advantage. Throughout the course of the day, your body has its own rhythm based largely on your human clock, sleep pattern, exposure to light, and genetic makeup. Getting into the groove with its tempo can make you healthier, happier, and more energetic. You just have to know what you're doing. From 7 to 9 a.m., your brain is at its best for passion. That's right, the perfect moment for bonding with your spouse is right when you wake up with your levels of oxytocin, or the love hormone, sky high in the morning. You can strengthen your relationship with your significant other with cuddling or sex, but you can also use this passion to write a thank you note to your friend or call your child at college. Hmm, that just took an awkward turn. From 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., your brain is as creative as it gets. By this time, you have moderate levels of the stress hormone cortisol, which actually can help your mind to focus. You'll be primed for learning, and it's much easier to take on tasks that require analysis and concentration. Take this time to develop new ideas, write a presentation, or brainstorm solutions to challenges you might be facing. From 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., your brain is really ready to get down to some serious work. By now, your sleep hormone melatonin has dipped sharply from the late evening and early morning peaks. So this three-hour window is when you'll be ready for some serious productivity. So plow through your voicemails or emails, get out the to-do list, and hit the tough stuff. Or simply work out a problem that you might have that takes a little more guts than creativity. From 2 to 3 p.m., your best bet is a break. After lunch, your body draws blood from your brain to your stomach, so things will slow down, and we really shouldn't try to overdo it. So meditate, read something for pleasure, or go on a short walk. It will make all the difference in the rest of your day. Then at 3 p.m., your brain will be ready for its best collaboration. You'll be able to deal with people a little easier, and it makes management and multitasking a breeze. From 6 to 8 p.m., you should really take time for yourself. Your chances of getting tired are at an all-day low, and you're probably burnt out from all that collaboration. So run your errands, work out, whip up a delicious meal, or just take time for yourself. Because from 8 to 10, we should all be relaxing. So watch a funny movie with a family, do a low-key activity. It's really your call. After 10, you're better off sleeping. Your brain has done just about all it will do at this point, so a full night's rest should be your top priority. This will lead to an even more productive day tomorrow. Well, it's time for me to go, so that's it for this edition of Insiders Health TV. I'm your host, Kimberly Walston, and remember, it's your health. We're just helping you think outside the box. <laughs>